um, um, the, uh, the agency actually uh, came out with a forecast um, uh, indicating that we are going to get uh, some rainfall on Saturday and Sunday. And that is really what actually came into reality. Mm. Mm. So uh, it didn't take us by surprise at all? No, not at all. Mm. Grateful. Now, uh, particularly when we had complained earlier that uh, the rains had delayed, is this perhaps the, 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 the starting of the rainy season? Hello? I'm asking if the rainfall two days ago and yesterday is the beginning of the rainy season that we had been expecting all this while. Yes. Um, you know, the rain should have started um, some part in April, May. And unfortunately, the rain came early in March, and it actually uh, stopped. The whole of April, uh, we didn't get any good rain. And what we actually experiencing now is just at the tail end of uh, May, uh, which does not work well for most activities, especially the farming activities uh, in the country, because. Um, uh, the rain stopped for a very long time and farmers were crying foul here and there. And so uh, we are just at the peak of the rainy season, which actually occurs around uh, um, somewhere in the second uh, week in May to June. That's where we normally experience the peak of the rainy season. And so what we experience now, we expect it to continue. Um, uh, during this time, we have uh, two types that are emerging. We have the one which is um, the organized storm, which actually comes, uh, falls down buckets of rain within uh, 45 minutes is gone. And that causes a lot of uh, uh, destruction. Uh, it also translates into flash flood. And then we have the other one, which also normally starts uh, and then ends up within hours. Mm. And that is the monsoon type. And so we're going to have the two. You can uh, have uh, rainfall that will, will stretch from morning to evening, uh, not too uh, heavy downpour, but you're going to have drizzle here and there. And then uh, other times you're going to have a uh, heavy downpour that may cause flash flash. And that is where we have to take precautionary measures because uh, it can really cause havoc. Mm. I see. With, with this background, uh, what more should we expect? Uh, more uh, heavy rains, and uh, particularly the one that uh, comes with storms all around? Uh, come again. Uh, uh, the, line the line is breaking. Okay. I'm asking, let's see if it is better now. I'm asking that with the background you've just given us, uh, what should we expect? Uh, more uh, heavy rains? Yeah, actually we, we expect to get a two. You may get um, light rain uh, throughout maybe the morning and part of the afternoon. And then we also uh, normally will get a, a heavy rainfall that normally comes out of the well-organized storms that normally track over the country from the east. And so the two, you will be experiencing the two since we are in the peak of the rainy season except that the rains will come to, uh, they will virtually come to an end somewhere in the second, first to second week in July. And mm. then we look forward to the minor rainy season. Mm. I see. Now, uh, the predictions from the Metro Agency, how helpful have they been, particularly when some concerns have been raised that sometimes uh, the predictions uh, really uh, do not come to pass? Yeah, that is unfortunate because you have a lot of um, information on meteorological uh, uh, phenomena on social media, which mm. actually does not uh, manage from this office. Uh, I don't know uh, the, the benefits people uh, tend to get in creating false alarm on uh, the social media. Uh, most of the time, the FN stations will have to call to actually. Um, find out the validity or whatever, or the, the truthfulness of whatever has been put on social media. And so um, you put everything in place and you find out that uh, uh, somebody on the street may think that uh, whatever information that we send out does not come into uh, reality. But uh, social media, they are, they are also... Uh, uh, 
whatever information that is coming there, which mm. actually uh, gives false information, are all attributed to Ghana Meteorological Agency. Of course, I wouldn't say that we are 100% uh, 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 correct in our prediction, but I think I can uh, set up my test. I can come out boldly to say that uh, mm. at least about 80 to 90 percent of our predictions come true. For example, this year, we came out to say that we are not going to have any new meaningful rainfall this year, mm. and that uh, planners should take uh, note of uh, whatever we, we came out with. And it came into pass that uh, since March, when it rained, it never rained in most parts of uh, uh, the season, and not only Whatever you turn out there is is not uh, too good. I believe that you are doing some meaningful work over here. Mm, I see. Uh, we're grateful uh, for your time this morning.